either to start my own business or to have some CA course that start my own practice. You realize this way back. Something due to my uh, sportsmanship uh, gave me a birth of thinking in a different way. If we will not use those softwares, we will not be able to survive in the practice. And I'm very happy to share that more than 1200 chart accountants. So how can you balance this all? The first thing is that my morning and evening hours have uh, spent it by playing badminton or doing exercises. So out of four, we three are chart accountants. The next segment, which is going to be a fun segment. You have to be physically fit and only you will be able to enjoy this profession. Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee with CA with me, your host, Sheena Barwani. Today on this episode, we have someone very special who is a sports person turned charter accountant. So let's dive deep into the journey of CA Prakash Sharma and let's get to know how he blends both his worlds seamlessly. Hello Prakash Ji and thank you so much for being on the show, sir. And it's lovely having you over here. And can you let me know how, uh, because I'm very curious to understand what got you from being a sports person to being a charter accountant. Like what was that journey like? See, uh, in my early days, I was having severe uh, asthmatic problems. Okay. So doctors told my parents that his resistance is very poor and I live in Jaipur where there was lots of dust. Correct. So uh, they suggested to uh, start playing something so that uh, he may improve his resistance. Okay. That's how I started playing badminton. Mm -hmm. And after starting badminton, when I was in sixth, and by, when I completed my graduation, I was uh, playing from uh, India University, that is combined university, I was Asan champion, I was Asan university champion. Mm -hmm. On the basis of that, I was having three options. One was that uh, uh, employment in the sports quota in different government organization. And uh, one of the two, uh, options were which I was getting, that was uh, TT in railway in sports quota and uh, public relation officer in K3 copper mine. These both were public sector undertakings. The other options was since I had done graduation in commerce, either to start my own business mm -hmm. or to have some CA course then start my own practice. Mm -hmm. So I was not having funds because my father was a Sanskrit teacher that was also a retired. So, I opted for CA. That's nice. So you had a very humble upbringing is what I believe, right? So um, how did that shape you as being a professional today? See, I believe in one thing that was that there is no shortcut for anything. Mm. And uh, if you take anything seriously, sincerely, you can do that thing. Correct. So that has helped me a lot. I believe in very important uh, quote that is, if there is a will, there is a way. And I follow that principle very strongly. Correct. So if there's a will, there's a way. That's a very nice quote. That, And I think that's stuck by you throughout the, in your entire life. Yeah. That's nice. So um, starting off as a CA student, uh, did you find any difficulty at that point of time? Or you like you went by your same quote? No, uh, it was very difficult. Frankly speaking, uh, I would like to mention one of the name over here, due to whom I become CA, that was Mr. Seal Jaman, who was my principal. Okay. When I went to do CA, we have to go in any CA form Correct. for doing CA. So the principal of that form that was Mr. Seal Jaman in Galan Company. Mm. When I went to him, I was not even knowing uh, what were the subjects in my graduation because uh, I was fully involved in my games. So he told me, see, you don't have that passion, you don't know anything about uh, exam and all, how you will do it. I said, sir, you give me a guidance, I will do it. And uh, he inspired me then. Mm -hmm. And just because of him, he always gave me right advice at the right time. I became CA. So he's like your mentor come guru. Yeah, who, mentor guru, come guru or principal, whatever you can say. Uh, he was everything for me. That's nice. So uh, you started off your journey as a charter accountant then. And then how, like, you know, you started your own firm or did you go into the corporate world? Uh, how was that? See, from the day one when I was a student of CA, 
it was very clear that I will start my own business. I will start my own practice. Mm -hmm. So it was never in my mind that I will ever go for the job. Yeah. So I started my own practice. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, at that point of time, I also believe that you started like, you know, uh, it was very rare for people to get into system audits. So, um, what drove you into that? See, uh, something due to my uh, sportsmanship uh, gave me a uh, birth of thinking in a different way. Mm -hmm. And I will always try to understand and do that thing which is coming now. So, I could realize that the initial stage audit was that sample audit okay. and the way data were changing, the, the way the volume was increasing, mm -hmm. it was very clear that now audit will be done by different systems, even the accounting will be done by softwares only, different machines only and 100% audit will be there. Mm -hmm. So that I could have realized and first I myself did CISA that is one of the most important exam for system audit. And for that, I always advocate in my profession. That's nice. So until date also, you believe that, you know, uh, technology and systems are going to be overpowering and it's going to help a charter accountant move, like audit in a much better manner? See, we don't have any option. Okay. We, if we have to survive, we have to understand, we have to understand different softwares like software of Joho, mm -hmm. other softwares which are in the profession. If you will not be able to understand them, we will not be able to survive in the profession. We have to understand them and we have to start using them. Mm -hmm. Then only we will be able to survive. Correct. So you realize this way back, like probably when you started off your firm itself and now you see that people implementing it in their organization. So you must be feeling that little proud that you took the step like way ahead of time. Still, still uh, uh, my expectations are that my members should start thinking that what is the importance of system audit because financial audit is taking shape of system audit. Okay. Just last year, Ministry of Corporate Affairs gave one uh, notification that you have to give in audit uh, the audit trail of your client Correct, if yeah. whatever changes they have made. That information my member can only give in an audit if he is using different softwares yeah. and if he is having knowledge of a software. Definitely. So we are trying to educate our members and trying to teach them the importance of system audit. Mm -hmm. Talking about members, I also understand that you you play a very important role in the Central Council member, uh, you know, of ICEI. So, what drove you to that? See, uh, from last two years, I was the chairman of committee for members in practice, okay. and in both of these two years, we have tried our best to teach our members, to inform our members, to educate our members. Different softwares like Joho and the other softwares are also that. If we will not use those softwares, we will not be able to survive in the practice and continuously we are trying to teach them, educate them importance as well as how to use them. Mm -hmm. Even uh, we also have developed one very good software that is office management in our institute okay. and that is free of cost for our members although it has uh, cost uh, to the institute a uh, reasonably handsome amount but we are providing that software to all our members at free of cost and we are trying to educate them, start using them so that they may be in a position to cope with the requirement in the profession. That's nice, that's nice. So you are doing so much for the members, right, as a central council member. So uh, did it start from like, you know, wanting to give back to your profession, to the body that made you who you are today? Definitely, definitely. See, uh, I mentioned you that I am a son of a, a Sanskrit teacher and uh, we were five brothers sisters, mm -hmm. three elder sisters, then my elder brother, I was the youngest one and financially we were very, very weak. Okay. Whatever I am today, it is because of my this CA profession uh -huh. and this profession has given me a lot comprising my uh, performance or the things which I uh, understood or learned from my games. So whatever I am today, it is because of my CA profession and I am trying my best to give again back to my society, my profession, how whatever in whatever manner I can give. So uh, for the students, what is like, you know, what do you do? Um, See, like in... uh, 
when it comes for to students, them. For uh, students, you asked a very wonderful question. Uh, see, when I started my CA course, I was not having any uh, tutor in Jaipur. So I had to come to Delhi. Mm -hmm. I came in Delhi and uh, financially I was very weak. I live in the place like Shakarpur in Delhi, which is till date a very, very, very uh, undeveloped place. Uh, so I realized that there are so many students in Rajasthan or in these remote areas mm -hmm. who are capable of doing CA, but they don't have financial position or financial help. So in Jaipur, uh, we four chart accountants who are very close friends, we have started one hostel in the name of Uday Hostel. Mm -hmm. It is in 8,000 square meter land. Okay. It's uh, full of greeneries. And the concept of that hostel is that a uh, economically challenged student is 100% free of cost in that hostel. And I'm very happy to share that more than 1,200 chart accountants have become from that hostel. And when we see a student, a son of a, a bus driver, a son of a mason has become an officer, has become a CA. So that's the best part for my life. That, so that gives you a lot of fulfillment if, I, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had realized that the importance of this facility when I was doing CA. Correct. So now when students and UC, we don't make them CA only. We try to develop that uh, knowledge or that understanding in them that when they become CA, at least they should help at least one person to, again to become CA or any professional who are economically challenged persons. Yeah, both ne kaam kar rahe ho, sir. Isme ye jo hamara concept hai, concept hamara yehi hai ki humko CA nahi banana hai, humko aisa CA banana hai jo ki society mein wapas jaake. तो सोसाइटी के लिए अच्छा काम करे प्लस जब यदि कहीं और किसी स्टूडेंट को जरूरत पड़े तो उसकी हेल्प करे वो बहुत अच्छा है सर एंड सो व्हेन कमिंग बैक टू लाइक यू नो गिविंग बैक टू द सोसाइटी लाइक व्हाट एल्स व्हाट आर द अदर इनिशिएटिव्स दैट यू स्टिल वांट टू इंप्लीमेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स और इवन फॉर द मेंबर्स सी दैट इज वेरी मच क्लियर दैट Constantly, we have to improve them and we want to give one message very clearly. Till few years back, it was not required, but now, whatever time they are giving to profession, at least 20% time, this is particular message to my members that they have to give to updating their knowledge. That is very, very important. And for my students, I can only give very simple, uh, this thing, uh, one, quote that is there is no shortcut for success they have to follow a proper path and there is no any issue that you will not be successful so um a badminton player the how do you bring that aspect your athleticism into your profession that is that is very important see uh, in uh, when i was used to play we used to lose so many matches we lose to, we used to win so many matches that sportsman spirit has bring me a different concept, different walking. I can share uh, one of the incident that uh, in 2009, mm -hmm. one of the top most uh, industries of this country and government had given me special audit of that organization. Okay. At that time, uh, the shares of that uh, organization were too good. Okay. Uh, when we did the special audit after that, my audit report, the shares which were around 200, 30 rupees, 235 rupees. That share came somewhere around 18 rupees, 20 rupees okay. due to my report. Uh -huh. And that was the pressure on me was so great. One said there was a huge money that you take uh, this money and don't give a report like this. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, I was very firm what I have to do in my life. And I, I feel that that my sportsman spirit has given me uh, that courage Correct. to behave in such a way. So that was like, you know, you wanted to be integral to like, you know, you wanted to continue that integrity towards your profession. Yes. Yeah. And the honesty, which like, you know, ICI relies on all its members and all of it. Definitely. That's nice, sir. So uh, I also know that you still run marathons. So can you tell me about that? You see, uh, that's my uh, passion that uh, there is a very good saying in our Hindi. Pehla sukh nirogi kaya. And I am very strong believer of that. Physical fitness gives a lot mentally also. Correct. It's not for physicalness only. 
due to your physical fitness you are mentally also very much fit and you can take appropriate action in very firm way that's nice so apart from uh, like you know being a badminton player and then now a marathon runner uh, how often do you run marathons if i may ask so in in a frankly speaking in a year four to five uh, times i run but uh, due to some restrictions because uh, in 2006 i was having uh, i had a major bypass okay. so after that doctors don't allow me to run more than half a marathon okay. so i ran for 21 kilometers but that i run four or five times in a year okay. but uh, every day i run 7 km that is my minimum walking okay. and uh, i do yoga every day for one hour that's nice and do you still play badminton as well see if anybody ask me that what else is living with you like uh, what you like to do if even you will be free from my ca profession uh-huh. it is i want to play a badminton because when i left badminton okay, right. i used to play 7 to 8 hours in a day i was a professional player and my morning and evening hours have uh, spended by playing badminton or doing exercises uh-huh. i'm still love to play badminton but i don't get time whenever i will get time i <laughs> like to play badminton so sir tell me all about like you know um uh, a little bit a little glimpse into your personal life so i believe uh, you're a family of chartered accountants yeah yeah i'm family of chartered accountant although before me there was no one in my family Correct. who was in this course but after completing my c exam i requested my daughter also when i requested she was not much interested mm-hmm. but on my insistence she has done ca my son went to sydney uh, although i have not sent him for doing cpa i had sent him for doing post graduation course but he relies over there and he has done cpa over there a parallel course of ca okay. so and my wife has completed half ca that is she has clear intermediate okay. but she has not done final because due to some other family problems so out of four we three are chartered accountants and wife my wife is half chartered accountant so it's like a numbers family a numbers family <laughs> that's nice so um it's it you must be feeling so proud as to whatever you've achieved so far in your life what more do you want to achieve on a personal level and a professional level see frankly speaking uh what i understand that whatever i wanted to achieve i have achieved and this is the time when i should give back to my society okay. and uh, by so many means like by our hostel by other ways uh, helping to students helping to other professionals mm. uh, we are trying to give them back and uh, mainly majorly uh, the other hostel mm. so when i will be retiring from my uh, this is central council membership i will like to devote most of my time to the hostel for uh, students so that because what we want that we should send a char accountant who is not only a char accountant but he should have good human being he should be in a position to help society in a right direction that is the most important ek acche insaan hona chahiye woh jo modi ji ka jo ek sapna hai ki 5 trillion economy उसमे एक चार्टर अकाउंटेंट का बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट रोल रहेगा और उसके लिए हमको मॉरली भी अपने आप को बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग रखना पड़ेगा हाई रखना पड़ेगा और अपने आप को अपडेट रखना पड़ेगा तो हम कोशिश वही कर रहे हैं कि हम एक ऐसा चार्टर अकाउंटेंट सोसाइटी में दें जो कि इन सब चीज़ों को फॉलो कर सके तो सर आप यू नो यू हेल्ड वेरियस लीडरशिप रोल्स इन आई सी आई एज वेल एज यू रनिंग योर ओन फॉर्म as well as you have a personal life and all of that you keep yourself healthy to ye sab kaise balance kar sakte ho this this because of my sportsman spirit and you know what i see that majorly my ca professionals they don't balance the things mm-hmm. i have enjoyed my profession as well as my life i do all my social activities okay. i do all my professional work at the same time i give a uh, full time to my uh, council membership also this is because of my sportsman spirit and i am a hard core hard worker like uh, i do every day 15 hours work uh, that is the my message to everyone 
that you really want to enjoy your life, you should have balance in all these three things that is very, very important. What I see that most of our members become so dull that they do not able to manage both the things professionally or socially also. So, my simple message is Pala Sukh Nirogi Kaya, take care of your health, take care of your profession and take care socially also. That is very, very important if you really want to enjoy this life. So, sir, in your earlier message which you had just said, that you said you wanted other people to get up to, updated to technology. So, how are you all taking that to say the rural areas? See, uh, you asked for any good question. Recently only, uh, C Institute ne CG office ke saath mein milke ek section 8 company banaya that is non-profit making company. Aur us mein humara concept ye hai ki jo self, local self bodies ki jo uh, accounting hoti hai, uske liye hum accountants ko tiyar kar sakhe. Uska uh, chota sa course hai. Aur usse humare jo uh, log hai, wo un local bodies mein properly accounting kar paenge. Hum samajhte hai ki uh, organization like Joho can be a big help to our this uh, concept and object in which because uh, you people are also doing lots of good work for the profession and for the society particularly in the village areas. Correct. So, and our interest is also to make them capable of doing proper accounting. So, just so, like rural development. Yes, uh, with the help of Joho, I think uh, C Institute and CG office can do lots of good things. Definitely, sir. We would love to do that. Yeah. So, sir, on this episode, we have this tradition where our previous guest would have left a question for you and uh, we would love for you to answer that. It's a very generic question. I'll probably read it out to you. So, on the previous episode, we have CA Rekha Umashiv who had come in and she left a question for the next guest, which is, if you were at the helm of affairs of any particular organization, what would be the path breaking element or new venture you would bring in? Definitely. See, if I have got this opportunity, what I would like to implement in my organization that every day in the starting, we should have session of half an hour for all the employees of my organization to discuss whatever change uh, we have seen yesterday in the newspaper or in any news or any way we have see we should discuss that so that we may uh, or our or employees and organization be always updating about the knowledge that is very important that's very nice sir um so uh, can you leave a question for our next guest sir uh, and let it be a generic question because we never know who may come in yeah. as a next guest so if you could just write the question over here And uh, next, I would like to go to the next segment, which is going to be a fun segment. So, aapke chulbul side hai. I want to get to know that. Okay, so I'm going to use my phone for this segment. It's called Beyond the Balance Sheets. Or this, I just want to see the fun side of every charge accountant. So, my first question is: Can you share one favorite memory from your competitive days as a badminton player, a match or a tournament that really played, you know, stuck? with you throughout the year, throughout your life? Yeah, uh, I was in Ajmer mm -hmm. and uh, I won uh, one final match and I was in the first year and the opponent, my opponent was in MCOM final year. I lost first match, first game. Mm -hmm. Then I won both the next uh, games and more than 5,000 people were seeing that match and all people were uh, hooting against me. I won that match, I can never forget. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, like, you know, a proud feeling, like, yeah. you know, you would have had. Yeah. Um, so, of all the marathons that you have run, right, whether it's like, you know, a full marathon or a half marathon, um, is there any favorite place that you like to run or any one particular marathon that, you know, holds a special place in your heart? That is always uh, in the month of February, it is in uh, Bombay, that is, now its name is Tata, Tata organizes it. That is the one of the best uh, marathon. Uh, I love to run in that. So, Harsala, you go to Bombay and... Yes. Oh, 
That's yeah. nice. From last two years, I am not able to go, but uh, whenever I get chance, I would definitely love to go. That's nice, sir. And then, uh, besides sports and accountancy, do you have any other unconventional hobbies or interests that you know people will never like believe when you tell them that you have this? Yes, yes. Uh, I was having a dance habit, and oh. I was crazy for dance. Whenever I used to go to any hotel, first I used to ask whether there is a discotheque or not. और इतना डांस करने का शौक था मेरे को इतना डांस करने का शौक था अब तो मेरी कमिटमेंट्स के कारण प्रियोक्यूपेशन के कारण मेरे को अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं मिलती है बट अभी भी हमको कभी भी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती है आई लव टू डांस फॉर हावर्स आई कैन डांस दैट्स सो नाइस लाइक यू नो टू लाइक विप आउट योर मूव्स एंड लाइक यू नो शेक अ लेग दैट्स अमेजिंग द नेक्स्ट थिंग व्हिच आई वुड लाइक यू नो आ want to ask you is as someone deeply involved in both traditional accounting practices and modern advancements like digital accounting have you ever had a humorous or frustrating encounter with technology at work definitely so many times not even once when you go in a public sector undertakings you find over there that they are using latest equipments latest software but they don't have knowledge so when you deal with them it becomes very frustrating that how to deal with them yeah. and we have got very good experience my firm has got very good experience of dealing or auditing our biggest mahanaratna firms like ntpc indian oil ongc yeah. so when we go over there and we find that there are employees who are using one of the best software one of the best equipments but they don't have knowledge so it becomes very difficult to how to deal with them So then, do you all take like training programs and all of it for yeah. them? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Um, the next thing is like you know, if you had to describe the profession of chartered accountancy using a sportsman term, term so uh, what would it be? See, I will strongly recommend that uh, for CA profession, you have to be physical fit. Then only you will be able to enjoy this profession because otherwise it becomes very monotonous or traditional. if you are a good sports person or if you are physically fit then you can think beyond the imaginations and what i will request and what i will like to give message to all my members that please give your 20% time in updating yourself that is the most important thing okay. i have enjoyed this profession due to one reason only that whatever new changes comes i first go and try to understand what exactly those new changes are and try to adopt them That's nice. So, uh, do you have do you have a habit of reading? See, frankly speaking, uh, I love reading, but due to my different uh, this thing occupation and business, whenever I get chance, I try to read, and I am very much fond of reading Economic Times. Ah, oh, okay, that's nice. Do you have a a favorite author? Any favorite author? Not exactly author, but I love to read. There is a very uh, fantastic book, The Secret. so i have read that book three times mm. still uh, if anybody will ask what will you like to read i will again like to read that book that is fantastic that gives so much of motivation and i will recommend strongly to all persons for reading that book it changes your mindset yeah. in complete manner i've also read that book and it's very interesting yeah Thank you so much Thank sir you, it, it was wonderful interviewing you and for as a special token of appreciation we would like to give you this Thank you Thank you so much sir Thank you.